This is a short uh, instructional video for the Agilent 54622D mixed signal oscilloscope. All right, uh, the big key that I want to show you is how to set a trigger on this video. Okay, so uh, what you can see is that this is actually currently triggered. Uh, you can actually see up here where it says triggered uh, and a little symbol, symbol which means rising edge and it's on channel one. Okay, so uh, how do you set a trigger? Well, you come over to the little green tr trigger section and you choose one. Uh, I prefer edge, all right? And then once you've clicked edge, you can see that down here you have selection for falling or rising edge. And actually you can see the signal update dep depending on how I have it set. Uh, in fact, since the trigger is on the rising edge, what it's trying to do is set the time scale so it's directly in the center of the falling or the rising edge. If I change it to falling edge, you can see that this is what happens. Okay, and you can choose which channel is your source. You could choose an external trigger if you so, so desired. So uh, the next step to setting your trigger is to use the little uh, rotary knob here. Um, to change the trigger level. So if I change this trigger level to be larger than my signal, then even if I change my signal, it's not going to change what's on the screen. So I actually have this running based on a function generator over here, and I can change this to, for example, a ramp, uh, or even better, a sign input and I've clicked sign and nothing has happened on the oscilloscope. So even though it's a sinusoid being put into the oscilloscope, because it was originally triggered on this signal, it's not able to do this. So how do I get this to show my new signal? Well, I need to change the trigger at level again using this rotary knob. And if I can tr change it and scoot it down over the signal, then you can see that it updates based on uh, where I have it placed. Now, again, um, it's looking for a rising ed edge or a fall falling edge. So uh, if the edge is rising, that's what you expect to be crossing through the zero second point. Uh, and if I move it downwards, it's going to move the sinusoid over so that way it's going up when crossing over the zero point. So if I keep on scrolling, uh, it is a periodic waveform so we don't even notice. Okay, so I can move this around in this way. All right, that's really what you need to do to trigger. You can actually, uh, if you have an input which is like a button, you can set your trigger ahead of time. You can choose edge, you can choose rising, and then you can choose a, uh, a level for the trigger which is going to be appropriate to your application. And then, uh, when you would push a button, for example, what will happen is that it will lock that onto the screen.